Chris mentioned this before show actually pre pre recording, but there's a new Flex Mini Switch, isn't there? Um, and I think you've got one in your office. Yeah. yeah? So that did just <laughs> come out. I have it actually hooked up. I just adopted it before we started talking here. Um, and this thing's I like it. So the Flex hmm. Mini, the original Flex Mini, if you guys remember, was really great. I think it was like thirty dollars, twenty nine dollars. I think they even sold it in like a five pack. Yeah. So mm -hmm. tiny little switch. Um, this is the sort of successor to that previous one, um, where this can be powered up with PoE or you can power it up with um, USB-C. And it does come with the USB-C charger, uh, the USB-C sort of little power adapter as well, which mm. is nice. I always like when they do include the extra power adapter. Uh, and then you can power it up with PoE and then it gets you five, uh, four additional two and a half gig network ports. Um, this one, I also did a quick look. I haven't investigated too much, but like the previous uh, Flex Mini, it didn't have any port manager capabilities. It didn't have any like mm. VLAN capabilities where you basically plugged it into a port and it was it would just extend the untagged VLAN of whatever port you plugged it in. And I typically used to use those devices for like behind entertainment centers. That's like my favorite use for them. Like where you've got an Xbox and you've got a Roku and an Apple TV and your television and you've got just a small handful of devices that are going to be better wired than wireless. So then you got this $29 little dollar, you know, $29 little flex mini switch, you pop it back there and everything can be wired and it uh, it just keeps your connectivity um, nice mm. and smooth, especially for like streaming video and stuff like that. So this is an extension of that. This is the next version up that's basically the same, except it has all 2.5 gigabit ports. Um, and it's only 49 bucks, which I think is wonderful. Yeah. It's a great price point. And it's uh, it did show up in the port manager. So you can actually select, uh, you can have mm. VLANs on the same, uh, at least as far wow. as what I saw in the interface. I haven't tested it, but it looks like you can. It also supports spanning tree, which was something that was missing from the Flex Mini. Um, ah. Yeah. That's good I to know about the is, VLANs I though. I forgot. Right. Yep. I, yeah, I forgot about that, about the, the Flex Mini. Yeah, which honestly, like for the purpose of this switch, it's pretty rare that you would be using VLANs on it anyways. I don't know. I Obviously, I don't know everyone's use case, but like I've never really found that I needed VLANs on it. I kind of just I put it in my IoT network because that's I was connecting a bunch of IoT devices, you know, for television and the Xbox and PlayStation and stuff. Right. So uh, I never really had a problem with that aspect of it. But at two and a half gigabit, um, there's probably different use cases for this one. This is overkill for behind a television right this this is uh i would say not necessary for that use case um, hmm. but it would be cool if you had like in an organization uh, a two and a half gig uplink and then maybe like connected out to like a set of four cubicles of people that are doing you know some more like heavy file transfers or something like that, then you would get, and then you get some benefit of that uh, versus uh, gigabit. I'll tell you, we talked a little bit about 10 gigabit earlier. Um, I recently went through the process of upgrading my home network here uh, to a 10 gigabit core, specifically for video editing and and copying things to and from a Synology NAS that's 10 gig connected. And man, it's awesome. <laughs> like I love it. I could transfer stuff. It's like eight or nine hundred megabytes per second across that 10 gig link wow uh and it's it's phenomenal i like it was a night and day difference i absolutely love it <laughs> yeah these these devices would traditionally be like the end the end of a network so like the vlan stuff doesn't really matter that much but yeah it's interesting to see that this new one's got that sort of capability now so it definitely does open it up to more use cases what those use yeah. cases are outside of offices i'm not sure but yeah, it's good to see. And guess what? Sold out immediately, right? Yeah. So it's like <laughs> definitely going to be a popular switch. It was, uh, I think it released, it was either yesterday or the day before. And I checked uh, just before we recorded here and it's it's gone. There's You can't get them right now. Oh, no. Yeah. And it makes me wonder if they're going to do the same thing with the the regular Flex, the non-mini. Um, that one's 99 bucks. And it's I typically think of it more for like outdoor or, you know, in your attic type mm, of yep. uh, installations. Um, really useful for like if you're running one uh, network cable out for a couple cameras or a couple access points, those kind of setups. Um, so I, I would hope that we'll see a two and a half gig version of the Flex, and that'll probably be you know one one thirty or, or something like that.